but then your guys stood their ground and sort of made a stand. How heartening was it that you were able to cut them off then and that the guys were able to push it back and, and, and create the breathing room that didn't happen last night? Uh, well, you, you, you want to see if your, your team can grow and respond uh, to different things um, and do, do better. Um, and I think uh, there certainly were some things that uh, we handled better uh, tonight, um, you know, in the, in the, in the second half. Uh, there was probably about a four or five minute stretch there where we didn't get back in, in transition. Uh, with the level of urgency and detail that we did in the first half, but for the most part, um, you know, I thought it was it, it was it was uh, adequate, um, and then offensively, uh, you know, pretty pretty intentional. Uh, the guys were to, to getting to our strengths. I know two triple doubles can be an overstated uh, statistic. It just happens if things fall into place. But the completeness of what Jimmy and Bam did as your sort of definitive leaders to take charge in a very critical swing game on this trip, what does that say about them stepping up to the moment? Uh, well, they have to shoulder big-time responsibilities uh, for us. Uh, and that's not only on the court, uh, but from a leadership standpoint. Um, and they have to make a lot of a lot of plays. That's that's what they signed up for. That's what uh, you know they earn their checks for um, is to be complete two way basketball players, impact the game on on both sides of the floor and with leadership. Um, but the way our our offense is designed, um, they they play make quite a bit, um, and and get other guys involved, get them open shots, get them uh, in rhythm, playing with confidence, and and you saw that tonight. And because this league just isn't fair and you can never can exhale, next up, Lakers, LeBron, rematch of the finals after a back-to-back, -back, just sort of going into that next step and rekindling maybe some of the memories of the finals. I know they're really good, but is that something you sort of look forward to because of the memories and the last time you played them and what that was like? Yeah, Thank they're you. a great team. Uh, you know, if you're a competitor, you want to take on that uh, challenge um, uh, against, uh, you know, the world champions. Um, you know, we've been so wrapped up uh, in each one of these games on the road trip. I literally haven't even given it uh, a second thought um, to this point. But, yeah, I, I'm sure the guys will be looking forward to it. Thank you, Eric. All right, next we have Anthony Chang. Hey, so you, you talked about getting to your strengths offensively. The 36 assists tonight and just the off-ball movement with all the cuts, all the points off cuts. What, what did you like most of what we saw offensively um, tonight? Well, we did a lot of this, you know, in the previous two games on, on this road trip. Um, you know, there, there are t times on this road trip, you know, we, we, where we have gotten um, to our strengths. It's a matter of just doing it more consistently, doing it efficiently without turning the basketball over. Uh, you know, save for those last two or three turnovers uh, at the end of the game, it was in our wheelhouse, about 13 or 14 turnovers. Um, we've been making strides, you know, offensively. Um, the last five weeks or so. And, and I know, you know, a lot of people will point to three-point shooting with Tyler Hero, but the mid-range game, the, the scoring around the basket, how comfortable and effective has he become kind of in those two areas inside the three-point line? Uh, he, he's, uh, he's going to grow and, and improve as an, as an offensive player. Uh, he puts in a great deal of time and study uh, and work. Uh, he's not just a shooter. Uh, he can make plays off the dribble. Uh, he's still working on his handle, tightening up uh, that against stronger players. Uh, decision making with um, help side defenses, um, and then of course, you know, continuing uh, to take on more responsibility and improve on the defensive end. Um, you know, that's going to be a, a day uh, by day process. He had some better blockouts uh, tonight. Uh, next, we have Rachel Nichols. Hey, Coach. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys here in L.A. on Saturday. Uh, what has Bam added to his game this season? I know it's hard. You guys barely had an off season, But what do you see him – where do you see his growth right now? Leadership. He's taken a step forward uh, with his voice, and he's earned that uh, in the locker room. Uh, 
and like all the great players uh, in this league, you, you understand that you can really move the needle um, with your leadership as much as you can with your play. Is there anything specific that comes to mind? Uh, his voice, he's, he's talking a lot more. I mean, his first couple of years, he didn't say a whole lot. Um, and each year, you know, he's, he's getting more comfortable. And um, not only uh, is he more confident uh, in that role, uh, it's absolutely required, you know, with this group, mm -hmm. you know, that he leads and, and, uh, and, and, and he's, he's learning how to do it in different ways. Sometimes it's demanding, sometimes it's, it's hard, sometimes it's encouraging, sometimes it's uh, uplifting, elevating guys, helping them feel more confident. Um, I'm enjoying this process of, of seeing him grow as a leader. Thank you. All right, coach. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.